Good morning, church. Good morning. Great to see you this morning. My name is Caleb Hong. I'm Caitlin Butler. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are invited into Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the spirit. All of this is God's gift offered to us without a price. Through confirmation and through the reaffirmation of our faith, we renew the covenant declared at our baptism, acknowledge what God is doing for us, and affirm our commitment to God's holy church. I present these persons for confirmation and to formally join into full membership as, of this church as adults. Since the earliest of times, the vows of Christian baptism have consisted first of the renunciation of all that is evil and then the profession of faith and loyalty to Christ. Candidates for confirmation profess themselves the solemn vows that were made at their baptism. And so at this time, Mr. Bachman is going to invite our confirmands forward. I would like to invite our first confirmand, Gracie Clifton. Hello, my name is Gracie Clifton. I'm excited to be confirmed and get to be an official part of this church. I believe that church is a safe place where everyone is equal. It doesn't matter who you are, God's love is for everyone. Whoever you are, you will be treated with kindness and respect. Being confirmed would mean that I am accepted as part of this church. I can be an active part in worship. I will share my time and talent for the mission of the church. In the future, I will take an active role in my church life. I will continue worshiping and sharing the word of God. Our next confirmand is Elliot Cook. Hello, everyone. My name is Elliot Cook. I am a seventh, I'm in seventh grade. You may be wondering, why do I have all this nice clothing on? Well, <laughs> it's because this is an important day in my life. However, confirmation is not about my clothes. It is about my new life. Confirmation is about helping others, forgiveness, and worshiping Jesus. Confirmation is also more than just a class you take to become confirmed in Christianity and have a party after. It means so much more. For example, learning and studying the Bible, explaining the differences between religions, well, we covered that one in like two classes. Also, we studied the big occurrences in the Bible and how they are viewed by different religions. Additionally, we learned the importance of having a relationship with God. The main reason I want to be confirmed is to be a true member of our church family. I want that name tag with Elliot Cook written on it so bad I could taste it. <laughs> Being confirmed makes me feel more involved with the church. However, next year, I will be just like you guys, staring at each of the new confirmation members, getting more frightened by the second before their speech. Right now, I am the one in the hot seat, trying my hardest not to make a fool of myself. <laughs> when, I, when I become a member of Faith United Methodist Church, I'm going to do more than just go to church on Sunday and worship. There's nothing wrong with that. However, I want to be, become more involved and do much more. I want to go on mission trips and help the people who are less fortunate in the world. I don't just want to help people in Orland. I want to serve in different states. I hope to attend next year's mission trip. In closing, I need to stress I would have never achieved my success without my parents and my, fr my family's help. No matter how much I complained, they still never gave up on me. So I need to thank them very much. I wish everyone a wonderful day. Thanks. Our next confirmand is Warner Stainborden. Hi, my name is Warner Stainford. I'm in the seventh grade, I'm 12 years old, and I go to Orland Junior High. I believe that Jesus died on the cross. I also believe that Jesus died, on, died for our sins. I believe that Jesus Christ, I believe in Jesus Christ. I also believe in God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. I want to be confirmed is because I want to be part in an adult in the church. Another reason I want to be confirmed is because I want my very own Bible. I want, I want a Bible because I never got a Bible when I was in the third grade when they were supposed to hand them out. <laughs> My hope for the future is for the world to have world peace. For the world to have world peace is so everybody can communicate with each other so there would be no conflict in war because of the same religion and the, God, the person or group of people believe in. Another one of my hopes for the future is to teach or at least help more out in the Sunday school. Thank you, that, thank you to everybody that helped me get this far. My family, friends, and all the people that believed in me. Thank you. Our final confirmand is Jake White. Hello, my name is Jake White.
My name is Jake White, and I've been 12 years old. When I was baptized, my family made a promise to show me the love of God and raise me in his light. At that time, I began to feel God's love and learn the way he wants me to live. Now it is my choice to continue my Christian life by following his word. I believe that God created heaven and earth and put Adam and Eve in, inside our world to start the human race. I also believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross to, give, to forgive us all of our sins, giving us hope and eternal life. By being confirmed, I will be able to play an active role in my church and in the Christian world. I will also finally get my own church name tag. <laughs> By being confirmed and following God's word with the continued love and support of my family in the Methodist Church, I hope to give back and continue to share my love of Jesus as a ma member of Faith United Methodist Church. You guys did great. Uh, on behalf of the church, uh, I'll ask you these questions. Do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? If so, say, I do. Do you accept the freedom and power that God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? If so, say, I do. Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in his grace, and promise to serve him as your Lord in union with the church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? If so, say, I do. According to the grace given to you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representatives in the world? If so, say, I will. As members of Christ's universal church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen, uh, strengthen its ministries? If so, say, I will. Okay, last one. <laughs> will you be faithful uh, to Faith United Methodist Church with your prayers, your presence, your gifts, your service, and your witness? If so, say, amen. Okay. All right, congregation behalf of the confirmants who you've watched grow and helped form, I ask you these questions. Do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? If so, say, we do. We do. Will you nurture these persons in Christ's holy church, that by your teaching and example they may be guided to accept God's grace for themselves, to profess their faith openly, and to lead a Christian life? If so, say, we will. We will. Members of the household of God, I commend these persons into your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. And together we'll read the, con the congregation's response. We, we thank give God thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love. As members together with you in the body of Christ, and in this congregation, of the United Methodist Church. We renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, our service, and our witness, that in everything God may be glorified through Jesus Christ. And before you officially get presented, we have gifts for you. And you're not getting them just because Warner talked about it in his speech. <laughs> but you want to hear that? Um, you're also getting them because this journey that you guys have embarked on is just beginning. And so we give you a Bible to accompany you in the journey and a study Bible so that you can continue to learn the word of God and continue to build that relationship with Christ that you proclaim today. Friends, now it is our joy to welcome our new uh, brothers and sister in Christ. Through baptism, you were incorporated into God's new creation, and you are made to share in Christ's royal priesthood. We are all one in Christ, and with joy and thanksgiving, we welcome you as members of the family of this church. If you would turn around and face the congregation, let's welcome them with our applause.